Oh, hello, Mandolin. Uh, the best thing you can do with Ryan, honestly, is just have your side ready in case you have to show it. He does that, and he ad-libs it. Well, there's no ad-lib to the video that I put up of me and Carla's messages where it shows that at 1 o'clock in the morning while I was laying in bed with my wife, I kept telling her I was in bed, I was in bed, didn't want to talk to her, I ignored her for a day, and then, please talk to me, Brian, please come back, please come back, I want you to come back, at 1 o'clock in the fucking morning, begging me to come back to her Discord that they say they kicked me out of, I've already put that up, so get yours ready. I've already put up the video where she said she's helped out Samara. You know what? I don't need your help. I don't, I, I would, look, TNT came on there and said, well, you know how he is. You know how Brian is. Well, how was I before you publicly came out and said, well, I've got something to say. And, Vent Brian, you should. How was I before that, Carla? I was nice. I was friendly. I was respectful. I was caring. Until you pulled your system. Now we know how you are, bitch. It was your choice. Now, I've got something to say. Brian was arguing with one of the most vile men on YouTube, and they said things to each other, and that that Brian was just wrong, and I need to go coddle Vinny G. Get the fuck out of here. So, man, you don't know this whole situation. There, One day, me and Carla were just fine. No problem. The next day, she's up there calling me out, sitting on behind the scenes, if she had a problem. And they said, well, we're just... We just had so much of Brian. They've never had anything with me behind the scenes. Never. Never. And they want to go on about this fucking ring. And it's so funny that TNT's up there going, ha ha, they bought this ring, huh? Bitch, she sent me the ring because of your ass driving by here. That's why she sent me the The video was up. You know how much shit they talked about that? She sent me the ring without me asking because of you, TNT. And you're up there trying to make an example out of it. You should have said, yeah. That Brian, he took a ring because I drive by people's houses and take video of it. And you can save that old bicycle shit because they all know the fucking truth, you dumb bitch. You too, TNT. You can save that. We were friends. Everybody knows that. You're a liar. That's all you are. You're going you're gonna to bring TNT up to state your fucking case for you, Carla. When you talk shit about her so many times. But she's, she's going to be the one to state your case. Anybody that'll state your case, anybody that'll speak out against Brian, get up here. Look. I don't give a fuck about you, Carla. You're a liar. So is Samara, and so is misbehaving. These people know it. I didn't do shit to you. I wasn't doing nothing to you. Nothing. And you just fire up a video about something I did somewhere else. Had nothing to do with you. Oh, uh, well, we just can't have you as a mob. But we can have this racist motherfucker. Uh, that, that, you know, we can have him as a mob. But you know we need to have ponies on our side. And we can't suck up to Diane if you're our mob. How would we look? How will we look? <laughs> Dumbass. Man, I respect your opinions, but you don't know anything. You don't know anything about this. I have already put out the proof of Carla when I asked her to leave me alone. And she continuously called me. And messaged me, begging me to come back. I've already showed that. And I said no. I said clearly, between her and me, there's no way I'll ever be your friend again. Never. And no one else should either. Like I said, one day everything was fine. And they wanted to use my YouTube persona to try to draw attention to their channels, which they did. Ponies didn't come around much when I was over there. And you just couldn't have one of Molly Go Lightly's mods on here if you're trying to suck Diane's ass and the ponies' asses. Now, can you? Come on, man. It's, it's too fucking obvious fucking stupid. Man, I respect you. I respect your opinion. But you really don't know anything that's going on here. The best thing you can do with Brian is honestly have your side ready. She has no side ready. I've already proved her a lying bitch. I've already proved them a lying bitch. Once she said, well, you come to my chat, but I don't want you to talk. I was like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. And I left. I don't want to talk to her ever again. And I, and I went for a, 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 the longest time without saying anything, but they kept getting up on their panels and saying shit about me. And I ignored it for the longest time. There were people behind the scenes that was watching me ignore it. And it went on and on and on because they wanted to provoke a fight 
to draw attention to the drama. That's all it is. I'm not a part of your bullshit, fucking bullshit anymore. I'm not. None of it. The best thing I did was not be so focused on this dumb shit here. For real. I come here because I, I, I there's friends that I have here. I like watching certain channels. I like to see what's going on. But I'm not going to be your token anymore. I'm not going to be your token. To, let's start some shit with Brian and see how much uh, uh, views and shit we can drag, get. Get the fuck out of here. You suck up to Vinny G. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. Gorgor's a fucking racist. Suck up to him. I don't give a fuck. What you do? I'm a better person than you motherfuckers ever will be. Some of you. Some of you. I'm living my best life out here. Y'all kiss my motherfucking ass. Bitch. Don't pay attention to your fucking husband. 